In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pen grip and I'm going to make it in these pretty rainbow colors and this is what you'll need. A rainbow loom, a hook, and bands in the colors of a rainbow. Um, we're going to be working per layer, so I'm using 4 bands per layer and then I'm using 13 layers in total. You can use more or less layers depending on how long or short you want your pen grip to be. Make sure the opening of the pins are facing you and you want to take out the middle row. But wait, does that mean you need an adjustable loom to make this pen grip? No, you don't. You can also use these bottom four pins, so the bottom two on the left and the middle row, um, to make this pen grip. So you don't necessarily need to take out the middle row. It's just a little easier if you do have the ability to do that with your loom. So I'm choosing to take this one out because um, I'm saying it's a little easier, but you don't have to. So we're going to start with our first layer and you want to grab your first color. So I'm using red and from the bottom left pin, you stretch out this band into the shape of an eight to the second pin on the left row. Then you grab the same color again and from the second pin on the left row, you put your band and you stretch it out into the shape of an eight to the second pin on the right row. And then you grab a new band also in the same color. And from the second pin on the right row, you stretch it out to the first pin on the right row. And your fourth band is to fill up this gap between the first pin on the left row and the first pin on the right row. And also don't forget to put this um, in the shape of an eight. So now we're finished with our first layer. So you grab your second color and I'm using orange and we're going to make our second layer. And we put the bands on the pins in the same order that we did the first layer, except this time you don't have to stretch out the bands into the shape of an eight anymore. From now on, you don't have to worry about this anymore. So you just stretch them onto the pins like you normally would. And it kind of becomes the shape like a square shape. Um, so make sure that you put them on correctly. And then we grab our next color and we stretch the bands onto the pins in that same order again. So from the first pin to the second pin on the left, then from the second pin on the left to the second pin on the right, then from the second pin on the right to the first pin on the right, and then fill in the gap between the first pin on the right row and the first pin on the left row. So now that we have three layers on our pins, you grab your hook and we wanna start hooking the bottom two bands on every pin. Um, and that is because per layer, there are two bands on each pin. So you grab the bottom two bands on each pin and you make sure that they're both the same color. So in this case, you need to make sure that they're both red. And then when they're in your hook, you stretch them up and then over the pin. So that you're kind of moving the pins over all the rubber bands and into the square shape kind of i'm not quite sure how to explain it but just follow along <laughs> so grab the bottom two bands move them up and over the pin and then after you've done it on every pin you want to push down all the bands so we can make some room for the next layer and the next layer is going to be green and of course you put this layer on just like we have been doing so far so you start on the first pin on the left row, you stretch it out to the second pin on the left row, then from the second on the left to the second on the right, from the second on the right to the first on the right, and then from the first on the right to the first on the left. Now, as you can see, there's three layers on each pin again. So you grab your hook again, and you grab the bottom two bands and move them up and over the pin. Again, make sure that the bottom bands that you're grabbing, that they're both the same color. And also that they are, that, that there's two of them. So you might grab, accidentally grab three, or maybe you just grabbed one. So you really gotta make sure that you grab both of the rubber bands and move them up and over the pin. Now we're back to just having two layers on each pin. So we'll push them down and make room for the next layer. And in this case, I'm using kind of a grayish blue. It's a very pretty blue. I really like this color. And we put them on again in this 
square. Um, and then you grab your hook again because now there's three layers on each pin. And then you grab the bottom layer, which is two bands of the same color. And you move them up and over the pin. And I'm starting from the bottom left pin and then kind of moving it in the same order that I put my bands on. It doesn't necessarily matter if you do this in the same order when you're hooking, um, but it's just easier for me to remember if I've done everything or not. So that's a tip for you if you tend to forget stuff very fast. It's good to uh, stick to the same order so you are sure that you'll never skip it. Um, but if you do accidentally skip one, it's okay. You can go, go back because it doesn't necessarily have to be in that order. So now I'm fast forwarding this footage until I have 12 layers on it. And I'm going to show you the 13th layer, which is my last one. And I'm just doing the same thing like I've been doing so far. I'm assuming that you know exactly what to do. So that's why I fast forwarded the footage. And I am also assuming that it's probably way too fast for you. So don't worry, just pause this video and play it again once you're ready for the next step, which the next step is finishing off this pen grip. And I'm going to show that to you right now. After you've hooked your normal layers that you've been doing, there's two more layers on each pin. So instead of adding a new layer, you just grab the bottom layer, so the bottom two bands on each pin, make sure that they're the same color, and you hook them up and over every pin so that there's only one more layer left on each pin. Once you've done that, it's a little easier to work with if you push everything down. And then I put my hook in one pin. It doesn't matter which one you pick. And then I take the bands that are on that pin and I put them on my hook and then I push it a little further onto my hook. Then I grab the next bands from the next pin and put them onto my hook. And I continue doing that until I have all the bands. And the bands can fly off of the pins very easily. So you wanna make sure that you're very careful because if they do fly off of the pins, then you've basically lost um, your pen grip because it's really hard to get back to putting it on the pin. So they'll, it'll basically fall apart. So once you've done that, you kind of, kind of, what's wrong with me? Am I German or something? You kind of want to just neaten it up a little bit so you can stretch it and play with it. And then you grab your pen or pencil. I'm showing you how to do it with a pencil here, but you can very easily put it on a pen too. And you push it in the butt of the pen grip. So toward the end and you push it all the way through. It's a little hard and I'm fast forwarding forwarding this piece so it may look easier than it actually is it's pretty difficult it's kind of tight and then what you do is you put the bands that are on your hook on top of your pencil or your pen so you kind of transfer it from your hook to your pencil and that way you secure it and basically that's all <laughs> And as you can see here, there is an ugly little ladder shape on my pen. You can fix this very easily by pushing the rows apart to kind of even out the spaces between every row. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail on this video because it's going to take way too long and you get the point. So just kind of play around with your own pen grip and you'll be able to figure it out and make it look as neat as you want it to be. And what you can also do is put it around your hook. So when you take the hook off of your loom with all the bands, you have to transfer the bands that are on your hook onto something else temporarily. Then you can push your hook through the back of the pen grip, and then you can put the bands that are now onto something else back onto your hook and then to secure it. Um, so in case you were wondering if you could do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.